Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Guide. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Obey Omnis EGT and the Bravado Greenwood, two Imani tech cars added at the beginning of the Criminal Enterprise DLC. Let's first begin with the Greenwood, shall we? At first I didn't really want to look at this car because I mean, I mean look at it. It's a car that's been brought back from the dead since GTA San Andreas. Uh, I mean it does have four seats which is actually very rare for a muscle car but uh, I mean, just look at it, it's just so NPC. Which actually gave me a great idea. Introducing the Shipmobile. It's a car so NPC, you won't recognize it until you've been rugged by the thing because of Imani Tech. Yeah, just like all the other Imani Tech cars. This thing can be remote controlled. However, unlike other Imani Tech cars, this one can't be fitted with machine guns. Boo. Oh well, I suppose we should probably move on to the performance testing, huh? Performance-wise, the Greenwood isn't really anything remarkable, I must say. I'd say about mid-tier on the acceleration and speed categories, but better than average on the handling. Just use a Buffalo STX if you want to win muscle car races. It'll take four RPGs to blow up when fitted with armor, and it has no bulletproof windows. Moving on, let's take a look at the Omnis EGT. Hopefully this will be a better car, eh? But before that... And time. You there! Stop looking for shitty roleplay servers on 5M! What are you, stupid? Join Grand RP, Pyron Gaming's official sponsor. This server was built from the ground up to provide the most premium roleplay experience that can be had on PC GTA 5. Easy to understand gameplay, easy to use on screen menu that isn't complete shit, custom assets like building interiors, cars, clothes, missions, quests, heist, jobs, businesses and so much more. Buy properties, create a family, create your very own love hotel, prop by prop. Take part in activities. The things to do here are endless. Join Grand RP today, or I don't know, spend another few hours hopelessly looking through 5M roleplay servers and then join Grand RP because you're stupid. Ha! Back to the Omnis EGT. Well, like the Greenwood, it is Imani Tech, but also lacks the ability to have machine guns fitted like the others, so if you want to have a fake NPC car for killing people like a noob, then both this and the Greenwood are not for you. However, its armor is actually... Finally. Pretty good. Pair that with the anti-missile lock-on and the car's speedy electric motor performance, and you have yourself probably one of the fastest tanks in the game. If not one of the best drive-by vehicles at least for fighting other vehicles. Hmm, speaking of performance. In a straight line, it's... Average. Cars like the Raiden and the Neon will beat it in a drag race pretty effortlessly, but on an actual course? The EGT is definitely up there. It's not the fastest sports car in the class, but it's definitely one of the best performing electric sports cars, if not the best, in the game. Overall, while I do think the lacking of machine guns is definitely a downside, the fact that it's electric and relatively fast could make it a deadly combo as an Imani Tech fake NPC car. You just sneak up on unsuspecting boots on the ground PVPers for some cheap kills, then laugh your ass off as some modder in the session crashes your game because you've been a naughty boy. Let me know what you guys think about these cars. Are these anything that you're interested in? If so, let us know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the Discord for some fun game-related parties and events happening on a regular basis. Thank you for watching.